Hello friends, welcome back to automation testing insider.com. So in the last video we have seen how to handle drop down in selenium, the basic drop downs. Okay, so let me take you to my blog where we have a student registration form. So here we have seen a basic drop down like we have day, month and year. So let me just inspect it. So in this drop down we have select tag, right? Select tag and we have seen how to handle this kind of drop down using select class in selenium right and uh, today i'm going to show you how to handle bootstrap drop down in selenium okay so bootstrap is nothing but a framework okay so first we'll understand what is bootstrap and uh, later on we'll see an example of bootstrap drop down and at last we'll automate uh, we'll see how to automate bootstrap drop down so if you search in Google bootstrap drop down and open few links, so let me just open this one and W3 schools. So in W3 schools, we have very good articles about uh, bootstrap. So just go to home. So it's framework. So bootstrap is the most popular HTML, CSS and JavaScript framework for developing responsive mobile first websites. So bootstrap is nothing but a framework, a new technology or new framework to develop a modern day uh, websites. Okay. <coughs> Still, if you want to learn uh, about bootstrap, you can go through these uh, different articles and you can learn about it. Okay. So you can see responsive mobile first website. So nowadays, uh, whatever websites is uh, the developer develops uh, websites in this framework is mobile optimized okay as you can see through these uh, screenshots so let me just uh, minimize it in the mobile version you can see it will behave like this so it will be like mobile optimized right so this is very good framework and many people many companies are using nowadays and if you this google page is not mobile optimized you can see so we have to scroll at the right side right so to very to look into the right side things so this is not op mobile optimized so this is the difference here you can see this is mobile optimized here you can see all the tabs all the links and these are the different tabs okay so this is a bootstrap so we have bootstrap drop down let me just go over it so this is bootstrap drop down so let me just inspect it so here you can see we don't have a select tag unlike in the normal or traditional drop downs okay so <coughs> i'm sorry so here we have uh, four options in this drop down uh, so let me just inspect one of them so it is navigating to particular url a url is not given so when we click on this so it should navigate to this particular uh, option okay so this has anchor tag right so already i have uh, created a drop down in my blog so let me just demo websites and bootstrap example this bootstrap drop down example so this uh, example we have uh, different links uh, different tabs bootstrap drop down i have uh, i mean from here we can navigate to demo websites different tabs right so let me just click on that so it will navigate to demo websites So let's automate this okay so my clips is already open so here i'll create new class bootstrap drop down i'll select public static void main I'll copy a few lines of code from previous class to launch the browser 
and here I will declare my web driver we have to import a web driver from org.opengrid.selenium and we have to add this throws declaration if we use thread.slip okay and let's navigate to this URL I have to change the URL from here now what I'll do <coughs> how we'll handle this first of all we need to click on this one right this button so let me just inspect this So we have button, uh, we have ID as bootstrap menu. So simply directly we can search using button, button tag and we have uh, ID as this one or you can directly use you can use uh, driver dot find by find element by dot id but let's use xpath so this is xpath of this uh, drop down button right so driver dot find element by dot xpath and here we have xpath and we need to click on that and after clicking on that we have all these uh, four options displayed right so let me just so this is anchor link it is navigated to this URL right so what we'll do first we'll uh, we'll pick all the options right from here so let me just write a ul and i think we have class name over here let me just see once again we have class drop down menu so here you can see so we have a uh, or uh, let's get all the options first right so how to get from here we have uh, li tag list one of so you can see second third and fourth uh, we have to go to the anchor tag it's so like in this way so we have four options right so it is navigating to demo websites about us contacts and in home so let's copy this xpath and here we write find by find elements right because uh, these are the list of items by dot xpath so this is my xpath and we'll store this in a list list of web elements I'll give name um, options and we have to web elements sorry web element and web element we have to import and list as well list from java.util okay so using this uh, web elements like we are capturing all the 
uh, elements inside this drop down right and uh, here i'll write one advanced for loop so web element let's say element and colon all these options drop down options okay so we'll create one element so it will iterate all the options all the options present in the list okay and using ele dot get text we'll get the we'll get the text of uh, that element and we'll store in a string variable let's say value okay and let me just print all the options so let me just run first of all this program and uh, let's say at last driver dot close after a couple of seconds okay so let me just print all the values first so browser is launched it clicked on the bootstrap drop down and closed the browser so you can see it uh, prints all the options like demo websites about us contact us and home now I want to switch to any particular I want to click on any particular option like contact as contact us right so how to click on that so we'll put if condition and uh, if value let's say equal ignore case we'll we have to provide a uh, string like contact us then click on that right dot click sorry element dot click element dot click okay and uh, once you find uh, this contact us then just break the loop okay otherwise it will check for all the items now what we have done so value when when it will iterate the list then will be when we find the value which is equal equals to contact us then it will click on that particular element okay and then will it will break so we have to verify whether it will navigate to this contact us or not whether it, i mean it should navigate to contact us page okay so let me just run it again browser is launched and navigated to this drop down page and it will open and it clicked on contact us you can see contact us page is open okay so this is how you can work with uh, bootstrap drop down it's very easy only thing is that it doesn't have a select tag unlike uh, in the traditional drop downs like we have in this string registration form okay so this is how you can handle and uh, you can go through it so already I have added this drop down in my blog you can go to demo websites and at last we have this bootstrap example so you can practice this one okay and here is the uh, script which we have created it's very easy let me just recap so this is to just launch the browser and we have found the we found the x path of uh, the drop down menu menu okay and we have just clicked on it right 
we have just clicked on it then all the options will be displayed and later on what we did we just uh, captured the uh, x path of all the elements which contains all the elements right using this x path and we have stored in a list right these options uh, is the list of all the elements and simply through for loop we iterate uh, each element one by one and uh, we have clicked when it it matches with contact us okay with the if condition so this is how you can uh, automate bootstrap drop down you can work with bootstrap drop down okay so thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye